everyone, you're watching It's Lit with Brit. Huge news today coming out of the Ahwatukee area after Mountain Point High School's head girls basketball coach, Justin Hager, officially announces he is retiring from his position. Now his resignation comes in lieu of termination after news broke that he was sharing insider information about both the boys varsity basketball program as well as the varsity football program with Mountain Point's opponents. Now, before I get into details, I have to give a huge shout out to my editor at the East Valley Tribune, Zach Alvira, who broke this story this morning. I'm including a link to his story in the comment section below, so make sure you give it a read but Hager was hired by Mountain Point to be the head girls basketball coach in 2016 as well as an assistant coach for the varsity football program. Tempe Union High School District is confirming that they have an email address that was linked to Hager dating back as far as 2017 sharing confidential information about the football team and the basketball team with oppo opposing schools. Some of that information included play calls and formations and it gave those other schools a competitive advantage in those games. Now the district says the email account has since been shut down. The emails were coming from us the address walterpayton12 at yahoo.com, but they were able to confirm a number of programs that were reached by this email address. Those programs include Pinnacle, Perry, Desert Ridge, Brophy, and Highland. Now, out of all the schools named, only one of them allegedly responded back to the email, and that was from Perry head coach Preston Jones. Now, to ex understand this whole exchange, you would have to know the background information. Now, Chandler lost to Mountain Point on September 8th, 2017, by a score of 24 to 21. Now, head coach Preston Jones of Perry asked the sender why they believed Mountain Point would, quote, do what they did against Chandler when the teams met. Now, this was between November 14th and November 16th, 2017, and the two teams played on November 18th when Perry then defeated Mountain Point to advance to the 6A championship. Now, no one is accusing Jones of everything, but Hager clearly had some malice behind his moves and his motives. Now, my question is, what was the motive behind this? What did he expect to accomplish? How much did it skew some of the results of the games that we saw played? What will the AIA do to respond? And how does Mountain Point bounce back from this? These are all questions I have. Thank you so much for watching It's Lit with Brit. Again, make sure you give the article from Zach a read and also give him a follow on Twitter. I will include his Twitter handle below. Thanks so much, guys.